Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you the latest update on these storms that we have. Cause we're bringing tornadoes, intense winds, very much I'm showing hurricane force winds, especially for today. Today looks a lot stronger than for tomorrow. So far, tomorrow has no tornadoes, but we'll keep you updated every single day. So as this heat bubble continues to move, these ridge riders are continuing to come, guys. And it has a lot of instability to get into a lot of cape especially for Illinois. So remember, I am all year long, upload every single day, so make sure you subscribe. Now let's get into the information. And you can see our setup for this morning, so all this gray, we're still having problems with the air quality. Remember, that is gonna start moving out today and finishing up for tomorrow. Plus, you have all this pink and orange. This is severe thunderstorm watches for today so far, and it will grow. You have heat advisories in all of this orange, and you have excessive heat warning in this pink. And you can see that all this smoke is going to start clearing out this afternoon. And then as these storms come through and for tomorrow, it's going to push further to the east and just continue to clear all this smoke out. That has not changed. And you can see this shot here from all this air quality, how bad it actually is. This is from 5 o'clock this morning. And we actually hit top three this morning. Even Washington, D.C. got in on it. Now, these are not very high levels. So that tells you a lot. There's not a lot going on, but still we're in the top three this morning. And as I refresh it and see what the latest update is, now we're a few of them. We're all the way into seven. So now we have Chicago, number one, Washington, D.C., number two. Detroit, you move down to number four. And Minneapolis, you're at number seven for this morning for your air quality. So remember, guys, these links are in the description for y'all to go check out so you can zoom in and see what your area is. All the orange is unhealthy levels of sensitive groups like asthma and such. But all of this red is still unhealthy levels. And all this purple is actually very unhealthy so far for this morning. This is going to start clearing up as our afternoon goes along. But you can see the whole setup from here. So we have our big heat bubble still moving along. But at the same time, you can see we have all these winds pushing along. This is where our ridge is. This is why they call ridge riders. And if you notice, it brings high winds all the way down to the southeast. But one thing is when these storms come a little bit closer towards this high pressure, and gets off the edge of that ridge, they diffuse very quickly. That's why you see some of these storms just diffuse so fast as that goes along. And that is going all the way to Friday and Saturday still. But for today, it is going to be a very strong day, guys. Matter of fact, today is showing the strongest winds possible. But you can see how the winds are bringing all the way down into this high pressure. So as these storms push across Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes today, this is where your biggest threat is also for the Central by Nebraska and Kansas. But as it starts pushing towards this high pressure, this is why you see the storms diffusing. Because the closer it gets towards that high pressure, towards the center, it starts getting off that ridge. And that's why it diffuses very quickly. And you can see this shot here. So you have your big heat bubble. Then you have your big ridge riders coming all the way across the ridge. But as soon as they get a little closer towards that bubble, they start diffusing pretty quickly. So it has to stay right on the outer ridge, right along the jet stream as that goes along. And that's where your severe risk is going to be and also for tomorrow. So there's still multiple days of it. Today looks like it's going to be the strongest day. Even a chance, I see a good chance for a tornado in Illinois. So here's your setup for today. You have strong dew points, even getting into the high 70s, especially over here for Illinois as it rides along that ridge. And as it goes through, it brings it through all the way into Indiana as well. Now, this is very strong dew points. This is putting a lot of particulates in the atmosphere, and this is going to feed into your severe weather. Plus, with our daytime heating, this is really going to kick in for the instability and create your severe weather. A lot of strong temperatures kicking in as this severe weather kicks in and brings the storms. Now, when the storms come, it is going to be a little dangerous, guys, but it is going to cool you down as it comes along. And you have your temperatures riding up again for tomorrow while you have storms in the same areas. But with the heat index, a lot of y'all are going to feel a lot of strong temperatures for today and also for tomorrow. So it is going to be strong. So remember to hydrate. Now, you don't have it over here for western Texas because you have some dry air getting in. So it is giving you all a little bit of relief. You're not going to be into the hundreds. But it is going to be for a lot of people in these strong heat indices, especially for today as well. But you can see with your cape, with your lift, that all this instability really piles up as it goes through the evening with all them strong daytime heatings. And look right here for Illinois. You're getting over 5,000 joules. But you can also see that as it comes through today with a daytime heating, it kicks in your instability, especially for Illinois. You're getting over 5,000 joules of instability, of cape, of lift for these storms to tap into. That's why I think you have the 
biggest chance for a tornado. And after that, it's going to turn into a damage and wind event. So it is going to be stronger definitely for today. So you can get a better shot here with Ace Triple R. You have these storms brewing up for today. Very strong, especially for Illinois and goes into Indiana. Look at the bowing out. You're getting that. You're definitely getting some strong damage and winds. I'm seeing hurricane force winds. But you can also see as these storms get closer towards that high pressure that it starts to fuse in very quickly. It has to stay right along that ridge. That's why it's called Ridge Riders to be the strongest. Once it gets a little closer, they diffuse very quickly. Also for tomorrow, you got the same thing, not as strong as today, but as it comes across, you have chances for storms. But once again, it is gonna be stronger for today. These storms today look very strong. And it is sparking up right around noontime, going from Northern Missouri, going into Illinois. And that's where I think you have your best chance for your tornadoes to pop up. I really think you will see one in Illinois, guys. So please prepare for that. And you can see also the bowing out. These winds are gonna be strong all the way from four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, and then it diffuses because it gets closer to the high pressure, but it's still gonna bring some winds with that. We will go back to the map and get a little bit closer look of which cities are impacted the most and try and get a better timing on this. I just wanna show you some information so you know what you're looking at. Because when we look at them, Helicity values shows a lot of strong updraft, chances for large hail, also a strengthening cell where you could get a chance for a tornado. You can see as the storms diffuse towards Kentucky, you can see you get really strong signatures for Illinois, and that could be very large hail also could be a tornado. So please pay attention for that. And for tomorrow, it's gonna to be in the same areas, even affecting more of Northern Missouri. And the concerning part is when you look at your winds aloft, your lower level winds, 850 millibars, you can see how strong the winds start to get as it goes in Illinois. And you get your strongest levels all the way into the white. And that carries all evening long as it crosses southern Indiana and goes into Kentucky and becomes a damaging wind event as it goes into Tennessee. So it is showing a very good chance to get some good shear, to get some rotation in the atmosphere, and a good chance not only for damaging winds, chances for a tornado. That is very powerful levels. Plus for tomorrow, it's going to be more of the same, but you can see how tomorrow is not as strong as today. I really think you have a good chance for a tornado today. So right around 1 p.m., it starts kicking in with some good winds up aloft, and it is helping with your storms growing and getting intense with the winds. And then as it goes all the way from 5 to 6 p.m., stay strong. But once you hit around 9 p.m. and on, it turns into just mush. The, the storms disappear to get too close to that high pressure. Don't stay on that ridge. But this is going to be a big damage and wind event as well. And once again, you can see for tomorrow is not as strong as for today. Now, East Triple R is picking up ridiculous winds all the way to four or five o'clock. Look how big and broad it just spreads all the way out. It's even picking up over 120 miles per hour wind gusts. Let's take that down. Let's take that with just a grain of salt. Let's just definitely say I see anywhere from 60 to 80 miles per hour wind gusts come with these storms and from 5 p.m. on it turns into a damage and wind event as it goes through Kentucky, Tennessee and portions of the southeast. And these winds are no joke so please pick up any projectiles in your yard for you and your neighbor's safety because this is very powerful. Now remember this is a model run so it could shift a little further north could shift a little further to the south. And you can see that here when you look at the 15 minute increments, we can't see super far, but you see it, it automatically picks up over 100 miles per hour wind gusts with this as it goes along guys. As we go all the way to 1 p.m., look at all these storms, all this banding of these storms as it passes by all evening long. Very powerful winds coming with that. At the same time, you can see it raised up a little bit further to the north. So please be aware this is going to bring a lot of strong winds all night long with this storm. Even when I refresh it for the latest run, it is still trending. That is picking up anywhere from 90 to 100 right here over Illinois. But look at all the banding from this storm that you're going to have all day today and all night. Very strong winds coming with this storm, guys. Please prepare for this. Now, this is bringing a lot of rainfall for today, but as it goes over the same areas and trains over the same areas for tomorrow, this is a model by National Weather Service. It is picking up anywhere from one to two inches of rainfall. The red is the two. All the way from Nebraska, Southern Iowa, Northern Missouri, all across Illinois, Western Indiana, and going into Western Kentucky, 
in western Tennessee. So for today, here is your severe weather. You have chances for hail, significant hail, at least two inches in diameter in this black, also over here over the central U.S. Here's your cities and states at risk for the hail for today, and the large hail is the white line on top. Plus, it is bringing winds. You have the 5%, you have the 15% all the way across the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. You have a big 30% right here, right where I see those winds. And this could upgrade. I think we will get a significant severe in this area because HRRR is just trending with hurricane force or greater. Here's your cities and states at risk for the winds for today. Also for the tornadoes, you can see it shifted a little bit further from the south from yesterday. That's why I like to update these every single day because it will move. So you have the 2% areas for today and you have a 5% area for today. Here's your cities and states at risk for the tornadoes. National Weather Service has had severe storms producing damaging winds and large hail are possible across the region from southern Iowa, southeastward to Kentucky. A couple of tornadoes may also occur. Large to locally very large hail and damaging wind gusts are also expected from southeastern Wyoming, northeastern Colorado, eastward into the central plains with a tornado or two possible. Plus, tomorrow has grown as well. You have a big slight risk and a marginal. Now, so far, there's no tornadoes for tomorrow. That could update. I will update you in the morning. So far, it is for winds and it is for hail. So, mostly it's showing that wind gust going all the way down towards the south. Here's the cities and states for the winds for tomorrow. Also for Saturday, a big slight risk as well. I expect this to be for damage and wind gusts as well. Here's the cities and states at risk for the severe weather for Saturday. I will be updating this tomorrow morning. Now, these storms have been going all morning long across Nebraska, going into Iowa, but you're going to have rounds of storms. So as we look a little bit closer towards a more significant area, I think we're going to see more big chance for not only damage and winds, chances for tornadoes. You can see the hail cores as you go through noon today. Time is up here on the top left. Look at these hail cores as it passes through northern Missouri. And then as you keep going through the day, it goes into Illinois. And you have multiple hail cores coming with this storm. Even some black right there. That is indicative to very large hail. As this moves through, it looks like it's going towards Springfield very strong. Then as you go from 1 p.m. and keep moving forward, you can see all the hail cores keep going all the way till 2, all the way from 3 very strong chance. Then you get that damaging wind event that continues. This is where I think your tornadoes start going away and you have damaging winds. All the way from 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, you still got the hail cores all the way at 5. You got the bowing out with those winds, but you got the hail cores. So this is going to be a very strong system all afternoon long. By 6, by 7, you start losing the hail cores. It's getting closer towards a high pressure. It's not really a ridge rider no more, but you still got the damaging winds that's going to be pushing through that so it looks very strong for today and some strong hail cores coming with that i just can't get over the black you see this black right here that is indicative to very large hail coming with these storms especially around 1 p.m and it is in multiple areas so just be aware you do have chances i think for tornadoes and chances for large hail that is going to be a very serious afternoon so please prepare for that it looks very dangerous guys but thank you for your time god bless you and your families hope you have a very blessed day today you and your families now my question for you today is what does it mean to be rich now see me i think rich is friends family that's, that's very rich that's very rich in life it's not really the money it's the people you must be there for the people to me that is very rich so remember do not follow money Money is an illusion of happiness, okay? Rich is the people around you. If the people around you love you, then you have a very rich life. And to me, that's what rich means. So today I want to talk to you about Proverbs 28, 18 through 22. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. To have respect of persons is not good, for a piece of bread that man will transgress. He that hasteth to be rich hath an evil eye, and considereth not that poverty shall come upon him. Amen. Remember, always help your neighbors. Always help as many people as you can. And watch what goes into your heart. Because what comes out your heart defiles you. So I wish all of you to have a very rich life. 
with people and family. Don't chase money. Chasing money is an evil lie. All glory. Always goes to God, our Father, Yahweh, in heaven. And may he always give you peace in your life, love in your home, and may richness surround you at all times. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> Hallelujah! I'm so rich to have all of you. Have a blessed day and be very safe, everyone.